Um, you know, it was like a, it was a kind of like a, like a heavyweight bout, especially in the trenches, man. You, you know, you kind of want that. You kind of want to see where you stand there as a team. I thought that we uh, really played for each other. Everybody played hard. Um, you know, in, in, in this type of weather and humidity, guys were just out there fighting. We're a little bit low on the offensive line right now, and being able to battle through definitely, I, I think, put a couple notches on our belt as far as just, you know, conditioning, effort in the game. You know, this is going to pay dividends for later. For later, but honestly, we do this because uh, when you're going to get somebody that's not your team, uh, you know, you're just going to get higher, faster, more physical reps, and you can't duplicate these reps except in a game. And I think it's just another way for uh, guys that won't be playing in the preseason season game to get some real game time reps. Um, you know, a lot of these guys I played with uh, a ton before, but I haven't got to meet them personally either. So it's good to kind of, you know, meet the guys that you work with day in and day out. I, I think I think it shows the uh, the mentality of the team. You know what I mean? Because if you're able to go ahead and keep plugging people in and we're able to find success, I mean, it's only going to supercharge your offense when we get everybody back. The only thing we worry about is, you know, with guys constantly being out, you worry about condition, conditioning and that type of thing, which is why, you know, you hope to get everybody out here. But it just doesn't work that way. Everybody's body is different, heals certain ways. Um, but, you know, those guys are working as well. I mean, Coach Frable does a great job of understanding, uh, you know, for the injured guys, like, hey, you guys got to get this type of work if you're not going to play. And then, you know, we just, we just hope that they get, get healthy and come back and help us. But um, I think it's just, you know, continue to keep trucking. This is camp. It's hard. This is what's going to happen. And uh, we just got to keep plugging away. Um, Honestly, I think it's just great for precision, you know, getting all of our, our wide receivers back. But I would feel really, really great about that, uh, uh, getting some, some good reps with those guys. But at the end of the day, we got a game plan. And as long as we do the game plan, you're supposed to win, right? I'm sorry. Oh, this is two games right here. That's, that's how I figure it. I mean, honestly, we were over here moving the ball. We do situations. We do special teams. We do everything out here. Uh, so, I mean, certain guys need to be able to get that experience. And let's be, let's be real, taking away a preseason game makes it harder on those guys that may not make the team. So let's continue to give those guys the reps so that they could get a job somewhere else. That was a luxury we didn't have last year with COVID. I'm too old, man. I'm too old. I can't, I, I'm, you know, like, I look at it, I'm like, man, I'll get in there. And then I say that it's 50 yards away. And I'm just like, you know, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just chill and rest. But, you know, it's part, it's part of the sport. You know, they came out today on fire. We had a really good day of practice yesterday. And that's what you want to see. People compete, keep a, car, keep a uh, fire. A lot of pushing, but no punches thrown. And as long as there's no punches thrown, then we're good, Jim. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, honestly, you know, it's a it's a great opportunity. I think that this is a great opportunity to play against the Super Bowl, uh, you know, uh, champion team, and uh, you know, it just lets you know that when you get these successful plays and you start making things happen in the red zone and you start to get movement in first and second down and you're protecting the quarterback, it shows that hey, you can play anybody. You can play with anybody. So we just got to keep continue to give ourselves a chance to be able to get to that level. Oh, yeah. So today was a little bit better. You know, yesterday after coming off of the flight, you know what I mean, not able to eat as much. Man, I lost 10 pounds yesterday. Today I'm probably, you know, five to seven, which, which could be pretty much normal. But yesterday it was a little bit more. Uh, honestly, it's mostly water weight. So as long as you're drinking water and staying hydrated, eating some good food, you should be able to get it back pretty easily. Um, I know sometimes you wake up in the morning because your body does work for you at night when you sleep. You may lose a pound or two when you wake up. Oh, t t today I got six Gatorades in, which, are, which is astounding to me because I usually try to stick to the water because Gatorade has so much sugar, but sometimes you need that sugar when you're producing out there.